Hey, Kanan here. Uh, today this video is a little bit different. It's a start of a new series called Tech and Art. Um, I'm trying to combine um, my engineering background with my interest in photography and videography. Um, so yeah, I bought this. It's a robot arm from Elephant Robotics that just came in today. The beginning of this month, uh, I ended up selling my Fuji um, mirrorless camera and decided to go ahead and buy a robot arm. Uh, I guess a few, I guess a year and a half ago, uh, roughly around the time my daughter was born, I've been starting to follow a company called Motorized Precision. I believe that's the name of the company that have these really cool robotic arms that uh, move cameras around and can do really high speed motion. And obviously I can't, um, I couldn't afford one of those. I wish I could buy one, but those are a little bit out of my price range. Um, but I ran into a company called Elephant Robotics. I found a couple of their uh, robot arm that seemed like a reasonable price and it had a 250 gram payload. And yeah, I decided to sell some of my cameras and make room for it um, and pay for it and take a chance and see what it looks like. Uh, I finally got it in the mail today, so it's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, I don't know what really to expect. I know it can do 250 grams of payload at the end effector. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to see how I can use it here inside the studio and see what I can use it for. This is the Elephant Robotics and this is the robot. So what interests me about this was uh, I bought the version that didn't require there's a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino, and I think one other version. But this one got my attention because it's a built-in screen and you could actually run it without having a computer attached to it. So very curious to see how that will work. And yeah, let's try it out, I guess. You can hear the motors. You can see the ports. Uh, looks like you have some additional pin in and pin outs that you can connect some analog and digital from what I can see. Um, USB-C, uh, another connector, couple connectors, and then the power supply connector, and also a few more pin holes up here, and also on the sides. So yeah. This is the MyCobot 280M5. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Very cool. I didn't realize. Um, yeah, there were additional pinouts at the near the end of the robot end effector. I think you'll be able to able to connect um, additional uh, actuators onto the end. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what can be connected to. And yeah, I need to look into it. <laughs> I have some. Uh, additional servos that I probably can attach to it, so that's pretty cool. That is what it looks like. And to compare to scale, that is my Canon R6 with a 100 millimeter macro lens beside it. So just made it, did my first drag and teach motion. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if I can actually do the GoPro or the DJI action if it's strong enough. Well, at least from a proof of concept, it can move my iPhone. I just use some gaff tape. I will 3D print a mount to hold my phone and test with a better grip next time. But yeah, it does seem to work for just filming a short little bit of video. So. What I'm gonna do is to design, this has a three by three hole pattern. I guess the alternative is I can use these M3 um, inserts that they have on this arm, but I'm just gonna go ahead, since the stuff I'm putting on are decently light, I am gonna use the Lego mounts and see what I can put on there. So the pr part that I 3D or designed yesterday, I printed today and it worked. It fits on there fairly well and I can mount my cell phone holder um, onto it. 
And yeah, what do you think of the result? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>